In terms of number of changes, Ubuntu Mate is certainly hot on the heels of Kubuntu 15.04, which I reviewed a couple of days ago. Now, firstly, this release of Ubuntu Mate sees them become an official flavour supported by Canonical, so they can take the 15.04 codename of Vivid Verve. So cheers guys, well done! Ubuntu Mate provides a classic style GNOME desktop that was previously seen in 2010, however in terms of development they have not just stood still. Some of the changes to Ubuntu Mate include new tweak tool, Compiz integration improved, folder colours added to the Kaja file manager, tilde terminal added, but best of all they have added a panel layout switcher. So you can choose between several different desktop styles. So this is a respectful modernisation to a classic desktop that can still run on older systems. Like all the other Ubuntu 15.04 releases, they have changed from upstart to system D. For home users, you won't really notice a difference, other than your system will boot slightly faster. But for enterprise users, well, it's a completely different story, because uh, log files are now in binary format. In further news about Ubuntu Mate, they have partnered with UK-based computer seller Entroware. We will soon be seeing Ubuntu Mate as an option for pre-installed operating systems. So well done to the Ubuntu Mate team. They've done a lot of work, and I'm sure they certainly deserve a pint for their efforts. So I'm looking at Ubuntu Mate on a full system install. And looking at the system monitor, well, I'm clocking in at about 600 meg of RAM in use, but I am doing the screencasting as well as I have a few applications though. The base memory usage is about 370 meg of RAM. So it's quite low. And in terms of boot up speed, clocking in from grub to usable desktop at 9 seconds. So let's take a look at some of these new features, starting with the Mate Tweak tool. So this is quite a nice tweaking tool specific to the Mate desktop. So we've got the options here of adding desktop icons, changing the interface, so this is the panel layout, so there's quite a few different options here, so we've got the classic Ubuntu Mate desktop here which is the Ubuntu GNOME Classic desktop, but you could use the Mate menu with the same style layout, Redmond is like a Windows XP style, so now the menu is on the bottom left hand side, Redmond with Mate menu it's slightly closer to the Windows 7 style, so you've got the application searcher there. 11 is like a Mac OS 10 layout with the plank at the bottom of the screen here. And you've got 11 with the Mate menu, so you've got the Mate menu on the top left hand side there, plank at the bottom. Now for the OpenSUSE style menu, I was having a bit of trouble with this one, I'm not quite sure how it's meant to work because when I start searching for an application, let's say Pluma. I'm expecting something to appear here. Mind you, I've never used this age of OpenSUSE, so I'm not entirely sure how it should actually function. But there are a few oddities here. If I go to the Ubuntu Mate desktop and press the super key or Windows key, nothing happens. Okay, that's reasonable, not all desktops in Linux do that. But if I go to Ubuntu Mate with the Mate menu and press the Windows or Super key, the menu appears. Great, but why can't we have that in the other menu? I'll come back to that a bit later, but there are a few more oddities to discuss. Under the Windows section, you can choose the button layout. So you've got the Close, Minimize, Maximize on the right-hand side, or you can go for the left-hand side. Now, I'm rather used to the left-hand side, but the default is for the right hand side. And you can change the window manager, so the Marco window manager is lightweight window manager and that probably would reduce memory usage even further. It really is as easy as just selecting the new window manager, although you have to have a graphics card capable of displaying Compiz effects. Now I've noticed under the Novu drivers, Compiz does not appear. However, with the proprietary NVIDIA drivers, it does appear and does work pretty well. Except when this glitch happened when I enabled the 3D Windows effect for the Compiz Cube. So you can see some of the subtle differences here on the lighting effects, the applications. The currently selected application is slightly brighter than any of the background applications. Let me just put another couple of apps on the desktop and you'll see the difference. You can see? gets lighter and darker. 
Another of the new features is these folder colors. You can open the Kaja file manager, right click on a folder, and you can choose a folder color. There are a few default colors to pick from. We can go with a custom color. And then when you select away from it, you can see the new folder color. That is a really nice looking effect. Also on the right click, you can choose from extra icons to show on the folder, like favorite, finished, important, and in progress. So if I select important, Oh, now we've got the explanation mark there. And if you just want to get rid of all that, you can go back to the default. That is a nice effect. However, it does only show in the Kaja file manager. If you go into the open dialog, it does not show. So they're just plain green here. The tilde terminal is like a Quake style console, or even like the Quake terminal as well. But you just press F12 to show that. Now one more oddity I want to show you with the panel layout switcher. Now this affects the Mate menu. So if I have an open application and I press the Windows key and I want to open Firefox and then I just press enter, oh, but it hasn't automatically switched to the focus being on the menu. Let's do that again. So I press the Windows key and now I can't even see the menu, okay. Now if I go and open the menu with the mouse and then start typing, works fine. Mm, a small bug here that while it doesn't affect the functionality of the system, it could cause confusion there because now if I go and close that document and, oh yeah, let's just save changes and I'll go and run the script, oh, <laughs> yeah, that won't work. Okay, I'll try not to be too negative about this system because I really do like a lot of the work they've done here. Bringing back a classic interface with some more modern features has taken a bit of work and to become an official derivative really does mean something for them. Ubuntu Mate has gone from strength to strength. Now in terms of picking up the hardware, once again like Kubuntu, it's successfully recognised all the additional hardware that I have on my system. So it's recognised the NVIDIA graphics card and it's also recognised that I need this firmware package for my AMD CPU. My hardware has been correctly identified from my microphone, so that's really good to see. The hardware compatibility seems to be a lot better in Ubuntu 1504 than it ever has done before. So let's take a look around at what we do have pre-installed on the system. Okay, there's so nothing that special under accessories really. Oh, that's the plank customization. Under graphics, we have a couple of image viewers and simple scan. Internet, we have Firefox for the web browser, Thunderbird for the email, and transmission for the tor torrent client. Under Office, which always seems to be a bit slow at showing the application icons, we have the partial suite of LibreOffice. Under Sound and Video, we have VLC for the media player, Rhythmbox for the audio player, and Simple Screen Recorder I installed myself. Here's what I thought of Ubuntu Mate 1504. So that panel layout switcher is an amazing new feature that offers several different desktop styles. It kind of reminds me of the Zorin operating system. The Mate Tweak tool and folder colours are nice new features, and it does have a great community behind the distro. I rarely ever comment about the communities behind distros, but in the case of Ubuntu Mate, it is really good. And their lead developer Martin is really helpful. There's a neutral point here about systemd has replaced upstart, uh, but on the downside, there were some oddities with the Ubuntu Mate menu searcher. It's not a major issue, but it just didn't have the same responsiveness as the Ubuntu Unity Searcher or the Kickoff Menu Searcher in KDE. But overall, I've given this distro 90%. But thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.